are gonna do how to introduce the one-time tempies. So of course I had to pick Darby because that's his, his absolute favorite thing to do in the whole entire world. Probably besides turnout and probably eating. <laughs> Skipping is like right, right up in there, right up in there. So the thing about the one-time tempies is you're gonna really have to like deny the idea of getting greedy about them when you take your time and in a just very calm precise you know in a real clear method when you teach these like this i am telling you they will not let you down and as Eula used to always say, if you can do three, you can do 15. So um, this is how we begin. So of course I wanna make sure the horse is super comfortable and adjustable in the flying changes in general. And then I want to be able to make sure the two time tempies are pretty secure. And a lot of times I will add the one time tempies like right after a nice line of twos just because that's what the horse is thinking about and you know he's he's got you know the changes on his mind and he's quick with the two time tempies i will just go on the wall and do what we call tick tock so we go we tick out we tick back in so it's just a one two it's a little flip flop it's a one two onto the outside lead, back to the inside lead. And the thing that's going to be really shocking is how incredibly fast your aids have to be. So I will go through the aids really quick. So if I am on the right lead, again, that is going to be he, because the canter is the only naturally bent gait, so I am naturally going to be with my right leg at the girth and my left leg behind the girth. He's going to be a little bit bent to the right because again, he's in a shape slightly to the right because I'm on the right lead. As I get ready and prepared for that TikTok, I want to really be sure my change to the outside is very clear. This is where the waters can get really muddied and everything gets like crazy and um, it all becomes kind of a, a mess. And so we want to make sure it can be a little bit of an exciting thing for the horse to learn and they get a little bit like tripped up in their feet and they can get insecure. And you really want to make sure you train this in a really calm, uh, you know, very uh, logical way with no um, exciting factors because it's exciting enough.